Hey everyone, Shadow here, and welcome to another Marvel Contest of Champions video. So, season 28, and this is war number 5. And we're going up against an alliance called Avengers 716. So, we're going to do a little spectating here, and we're going to take a look at their defense. Alright, I take path 3 in sections 1 and 2. So, I don't see a defender on that first node, which is not uncommon. And then we have a Mysterio on this node here. Now, I can probably take that Mysterio with pretty much anyone that I'm planning on bringing in. Uh, I'll probably go up against him with uh, my Black Widow Clairvoyant. He just has aggression armor, enhanced armor up. Yeah, so Claire can probably do that fight without any difficulty. Uh, but I'll also have Nick Fury and Warlock. And um, they could probably do that fight as well. But I, I'll go in with uh, Claire first. She should be able to handle it. And then this mini Mojo, which I hate fighting. And I know a lot of people hate fighting. Uh, since I didn't have anyone on that first node, I will probably end up having to fight him. Very, very annoying uh, defender. And if I have to, I will go in with Nick Fury. But I'm going to wait this time and see if anybody plans to bring in like Human Torch. Uh, I could bring in a Human Torch. Let me see here. Yeah, we've got Sasquatch. And let's see. Yeah, we haven't seen um, Colossus on that node for a while. Black Widow Clairvoyant tears him up on that node. Uh, Mordo uh, is annoying, definitely annoying, um, but just have to play around it. Uh, Claire can do that fight uh, as well, uh, so can Nick Fury. And then we've got Cosmic Ghost Rider here. Warlock can do this fight, but if we can bring in someone that can uh, deal with that that uh, buffet. So Warlock can do it if necessary, uh, provided that I bring him, because I'm, I'm thinking about maybe swapping out Warlock for Torch, which would allow me to take out that Mojo and deal with that Sasquatch. Um, could do that, could do that. Um, but we'll see. I'll have to ask them and, and see if anyone is bringing someone for those guys. And if they're not, then I can bring a uh, torch and just leave Warlock out. All right. Let's see. Mini Boss Island here. Ooh, we've got, uh, Immortal Abomination down there. Really want a Poison Immune. Uh, Claire can do that fight. She can do that fight. And then we have Killmonger. Oh, I do not like Killmonger on that. No, that is really annoying. Uh, preferably someone that is stun immune will have an easier time. Or if you're just familiar with that node, let me show you guys what I'm talking about. Stunning Reflection and Polka Dot Power. But it's the Stunning Reflection that I don't like. All right, so you can see what that is. So someone that is stun immune will have an easier time. Just look at that, stun vulnerability. Just like adding insult. And then of course, everybody has true focus now. That's um, countering ghost and quake, but also hurts a lot of people. Uh, I'm not gonna go into that. Uh, and then we've got Spider-Ham. Uh, Venom should be able to do that fight if someone brings a Venom. And usually we have our backup just bring in a counter for all three of these fights, boost up, and just go one go. All right, so on the left, we've got Mole Man. Uh, he can definitely be annoying. Uh, very annoying to fight. Uh, Claire, this is a rage node, so Claire can do that fight. Uh, Black Widow Daily Origins, I know she was bugged for a little bit. I don't know if they fixed it, um, but she is also annoying. But when she was bugged, it was insane. But I think she's fixed by now. And then you have magic. Magic 
if someone has a, a power control champ that can shut her down, that's great. Uh, I believe Human Torch could probably do that fight. So maybe, maybe I will bring Human Torch in and I'll be able to do that. But it all depends on what others are bringing. So uh, that's it for this portion. Uh, we'll be back with the fighting after I've talked to them and then we'll see who I choose to go in there with. All right, so be right back. All right, so going in with my standard team, Nick Fury, Black Widow, Clairvoyant, and Warlock. They should be able to handle anything that is on my path, plus uh, some uh, mini bosses if I need to take a mini boss on Mini Boss Island. All right. Uh, you can see already I'm nervous now because look how long it's taking to load in. So I'm like, I hope there's not going to be any shenanigans. Now, I should have just went ahead and restarted the game, but I'm stubborn and I just went ahead and jumped right on in no defender as we saw earlier and now i gotta fight mephisto uh mysterio now summer of pain just ended and if you guys watched my last minute video of the summer of pain finale you may understand that i don't want to see mysterio anymore for quite a while that mysterio path was the absolute worst path of the entire thing. That one path was probably the equivalent of two and a half other paths. That's how bad it was. So I wasn't looking to fight no uh, Mysterio, all right? But um, here he is and I can fight Mysterio. I know how to fight him. You see, I pushed him to a special two, unlike what you wanted to do in the Summer of Pain because you couldn't generate power unless he fired his specials. But if he fired his special too, it drained your power. As you see my power draining down there. Don't mind my power draining. It's easy to evade. So is his special one, but I don't want a long fight. And the special one means I'm going to have to play around and wait until that damage reflection mode is, is over. But as you can see, we were able to take him down without any difficulty. Now, this mini boss is Mojo. I do not want to fight Mojo. Mojo, I leave for uh, my alliance mates that bring Torch. And they torched him down. Uh, now, I could have tried to fight Mojo with, uh, say, Nick Fury. And probably could have gotten him down, maybe boosted up. But uh, better to be safe, all right? So, middle was cleared. Section uh, two is open, so we go right on into our first fight on path three. And if you've watched my war videos, this is a pretty standard fight. There is nothing uh, too special about it. Colossus is a great option for that node. Uh, you don't really want to fight him. And when I first saw him there, I thought, ooh, I can get a quick Corvus charge. And I don't usually bring Corvus, but I said, hey, I've got two Corvuses. One's in an AQ. Let me get, you know, some Corvus, you know, maybe some nostalgia from back in the day when I used to run Corvus all the time. Not a good option. I, I didn't die, but it was a near thing. Not a good fight for Corvus. Uh, but Black Widow Clairvoyant is perfect for this node, especially against Colossus. As you can see... She's stripping him away, uh, stripping away his uh, armor ups. And she's also bleed immune in the curse of blood phase. So even if he does have the armor up, she's not going to get uh, any bleed on her anyway. So down he goes. She is just the best counter for Colossus right there, uh, in my opinion. There are other options, of course, but I think she is the best. Next up, we've got Mordo. I do not like Mordo because Mordo doesn't fight consistently. Sometimes when he's in his uh, power gain phase, he'll be crazy aggressive. So I chose to go in with Nick Fury because even if he does that, Nick Fury has enough health and another life. We're going to get through this Mordo. 
even if he acts up. All right, but he didn't do it. And it was a very nice, smooth kill. All right, now, the next fight. And since I did not do a lot of fighting in section one, you know, I only had that one fight. And I see that uh, they had tried and failed against this uh, Cosmic Ghost Rider. I said, okay, let me go on in. Uh, I had actually planned uh, in my head, I didn't tell them, uh, I need to be better about that, uh, to take this uh, mini boss. Since I didn't take the mini boss in section one, I only had one fight in section one, and my guys are in pretty good health. And Warlock is a good option for this uh, node in general, and there's nothing about Cosmic Ghost Rider that uh, would make me not want to bring Warlock in against him. All right, and you can see here, look at that. Boom. Just like that. And if he had had full health, we might have had to go for another special two. But he would have gone down. All right. Now, that is it for my participation in this war. Uh, my alliance mates cleaned up. They cleared out uh, Mini Boss Island. Uh, and the uh, boss here, as you see, uh, we had someone come in. And I believe they got the one shot on that um, bishop. Don't usually see bishop, but he's gotten a rework now. And so he's a little tricky uh, to fight. So, you know, we were talking about different options. I don't remember who uh, my alliance mate went in there with uh, to take out that bishop. But you, you kind of want uh, an incinerate immune champion of some sort. Uh, but yeah, uh, leave a comment if you know some good options. Uh, I don't think we've faced bishop uh, too, too many times as the boss. Uh, but anyway, uh, let's take a little break and we'll be right back and you'll find out how this war ended. And we're back. And as you can see, we won this war uh, and we have fixed our diversity. Uh, I'm not going to show it, but we have fixed it. Uh, so I am no longer ashamed of our diversity. All right. But. That's going to do it, guys. Thank you all for watching the video. Feel free to hit that like button if you enjoyed it. Leave a comment. Let me know what you thought about this video. And you all have a blessed day.